Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixer. So today we're going to discuss how to replace or upgrade a solid state drive on a Dell computer. And skip to minute three if you're looking for just a how to install Windows 10 portion. All right, so I'm going to speed this up. First, I'm showing you how to remove all the screws in the bottom panel. A lot of Dells nowadays just have one large bottom panel that you can remove in order to get to your solid state drive. If you find that you have a door, a lot of times you remove that. If it's just like a small door, not the whole panel. You can sometimes have an easy access panel like that. Um, if you find yours is just completely different, then you can always look up a disassembly video and then come back to the how to install portion of this video. And also as a side note, this is specifically for an M.2 solid state drive. If you have the solid state drive that's more the size of a hard drive, then check out our hard drive replacement video. All right, so as you can see, I'm taking a pry tool. I've inserted it in between the two panels and I'm wiggling and pulling up on the panel. And then it usually just pops right off like so. Pretty easy. Okay, now we're inside the computer. The exciting part. Now, first thing you do is unplug your battery and you should have your computer already unplugged at this point because we don't want any power running to that motherboard. That way if you drop anything like a metal tool on it, you won't fry it. So it's important. All right, so here's your solid state drive. That's what it looks like. Take that screw, unscrew it, and then gently slide it out. It's that simple. And once again, this is an M.2 solid state drive. This is what it looks like in case you need to order another one. And here we go. We take our new one, insert it gently in, take that screw, and screw it back in. And it's just that simple. I would say this kind of solid state drive replacement is one of the easier things to do. All right, you go ahead and slide your battery cable back in. And now we're going to put that panel back on. But I have to zoom out first. Ah, much better. Okay, go ahead and put that panel back on. And once again, now that I've snapped it in, I'm going to speed it up for the borings prior to putting the screws back in. So this will take just a couple minutes. And as you can see, my screwdriver is magnetized, which makes your life a lot easier. If you don't have a magnetized screwdriver, you can actually just take a strong magnet and, let, and have a screwdriver set on there for about 20 minutes and then it becomes magnetized. So that's just a nice little piece of information. All right, look at that. I'm done. Now, how to install Windows 10. As a shout out, if you don't have a Windows 10 bootable USB, we have a video linked down below on how to do this for free, to how to make your own. Okay, so take that USB, plug it into your Dell laptop or computer desktop, hit power, and then tap on F12 repeatedly right away. That's right, F12. All right, now we're at the boot screen. You're gonna hit the down button, select UEF SanDisk, and hit enter. So you can see a lot of that kind of thing, and then you're gonna get to this purple screen like so. At this point, you're gonna take your mouse and you're gonna hit the next button. You're going to hit install now. You're going to see a lot of stuff like this. Setup is starting. You'll have to wait. It's okay. Then you're going to I accept the license and terms. You're going to hit next. Then hit custom. Then go ahead and delete all these partitions. Select one. Hit delete. Sometimes there's a lot. Don't worry. Go ahead and just delete them all. And then when it says unallocated space, like so, then you can hit next and it will start to install. As a shout out, if you run into any snags, your installation for any way, reason doesn't work, we have a video on how to troubleshoot installation problems. Okay, so I fast forwarded to the end screen. Go ahead and hit restart now. You're going to get a bunch of these starting services, getting device ready, stuff like that. But once again, that video link for if you have any problems with it not completing, not working properly, that's in the description down below. Okay, so this means my installation is done after all that waiting time. You're going to hit yes. And then you're going to select your keyboard. I'm going to skip because I don't need a second keyboard. 
So now we're just going through different options. This is where you connect to a network. I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to, you would go ahead, select your network, hit connect, then type in your password. I'm going to write, I don't have internet. That way I'm not stuck putting, attaching my Microsoft account. This is a behind the scenes way of doing it, behind back doorway, I mean. Hit continue with limited setup. And then boom, I don't need to attach a Microsoft email account. Then I can just name my PC whatever I want like a normal person and hit next. I type in Dell, next, I'm not going to do a password because I'm going to sell this computer. Uh, do more, I'm just going to hit no. I am going to get help from the digital, I'm going to hit accept, digital assistant. And then accept once again because I'm okay with all these privacy settings. And then I am done. So there's going to be some lag time in between some of these things, but you're okay. Anyway, that's how you install Solid State Drive and Windows 10. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. But from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.